I saw you, you were actually in the Utah Jazz jersey. Now you're here with the Washington Wizards. Tell us a little bit for the people that you know haven't heard. What was the transition like for you uh, coming over to Washington? For sure, it was great, man. It was, uh, you know, for me, it was, I feel like I'm in a much better situation. Um, you know, I'm a team that I feel like can definitely compete in the playoffs. Uh, you know, losing game one. Um, you know, we're gonna definitely wake up from it and grow from it. But uh, the, as far as the transition, it was a great. It was a great move. I feel like you know Washington is a better fit for me. And, uh, the city's accepted me. The fans already have. And my teammates are great. Uh, what was that trade like? How did you first find out that uh, you were traded? And uh, was it, you were a little surprised by the situation or related about no, the situation? I wasn't surprised. Um, and I had a few teams. It was it was about six or seven teams that were interested. So uh, I was I just didn't know where I was going to go. Uh, I just received a phone call in the morning. Um, I was in Los Angeles working out for my agent. And he told me I was going to D.C. just got happy. And I already knew John and Brad, so um, we had already linked. And they were already out there working out together. Uh, and then when they, when they found out that I was you know, coming to the team, we all linked up. So you know, we should have a fun year, man. Being a young guard, as you just mentioned, talking about uh, John and Bradley Beal, how is it you know, having those two guys to kind of learn a lot from? You know, you still learn the game yourself. What is that Absolutely. situation been like for you? Uh, it's great. It's great. I told John when I, when I got traded, I was looking forward to learning, learning a lot from him being an all-star point guard. Um, you know, some of my have aspirations of being one day. Yeah, I definitely feel like I can learn a lot from him. I'm just playing against him, practicing against him every day, um, seeing how he approaches the game. Uh, it's it's going to help me a lot. Uh, I got a chance to speak to your dad. He was telling me what motivated you and kept you motivated through the ups and downs out there in Utah. Uh, just to hear from you, what what kind of motivated you not to, you know, because a lot of people just kind of gave up. What, what kept you? What kept you? Just, just knowing what type of player I am. They couldn't break me. That's what they tried to do. They they couldn't break me though. You know, they give me DMPs. I mean, not. You know, everybody asking me what's going on, why you not playing. It's the reason why everybody's asking me that. Yeah. Um, so I just, I just kept my head up. You know, I was a great, great team guy. Everybody can can vouch for that over there. You know, I never really complained. Um, I worked hard every day, and I just wait for my opportunity. Now, now I'm here in Washington. I feel like we got a special team. We still got a lot of learning to do. A couple more questions. So you guys uh, really gave up 33 points uh, in the fourth quarter. It's definitely to win. You definitely got to hold things down in the fourth quarter as a guard and then on that second unit. What could you guys have done a little better? Or what is it that you guys saw out there for the reason why it just seemed like Atlanta just kind of ran away in that fourth quarter? Uh, just controlling the tempo. They had they went on a stretch where they hit a few threes. Um, they got hot. Tim got hot. Um, I think on the offensive end, we could have controlled the tempo a little more, slowed it down, um, you know, and just locked up, you know, simple as that. We got to lock up. We got to take – everybody has to take their their matchup personal while at the same time, you know, helping the team out. And the last question, you spoke to a couple of journalists already about the chemistry on the team. How has this chemistry been so far? Uh, one game under the belt, I understand it's only one game, but getting yeah. ready to head over to Memphis, uh, how is this chemistry coming along? It's great. Uh, this chemistry is great, um, especially off the court. On the court, we, we still got some work to do. You know, it's a lot of new guys, some new coaching staff, <clears throat> new system for a lot of us. So, uh, you know, we, we're, we're going we're gonna to get it together uh, as far as the chemistry on the court. But off the court, we're, you know, we're all meshed. Sure. Appreciate it.